Talagang kaliwat ka ng um, feature about Mama Entrada and her pain and her ex-boyfriend at ang pagprotektan niya sa kanyang boyfriend at ng kanyang uh, baptism ang kumakalat ngayon sa social media. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Philippines. Good afternoon, Canada. Yeah, I'm speaking English now because I want um, Aaron to feel like uh, how my mind is protecting him against the basher or against the people criticizing her relationship with Aaron Hashkel. This happens right after my my posted a uh, message in Instagram talking about her baptism and her renewal of vows as literally she was being baptized in Faber Church and she was talking uh, so many things about how her faith uh, was being brought back and uh, what pain she was been she has been through and uh, yes many news websites were talking about this or posting um, features about my my her past relationship and her baptism but I think cosmopolitan Philippines is giving full details about this um, write-up so I'm gonna read this content of Cosmopolitan Entertainment. Uh, this was written by Kate Sarmiento, published three hours ago. And uh, my might won't let her ex take all the blame. This is what she um, put under her title. So let's read as what is really the content of this feature so i'm gonna start reading all the should you say everything when i say everything everything that she wrote in this feature and so i'm gonna start now a confirmation and a plea that was what my mantra recently asked from her fans over an ex from the twitter the former Pinoy uh, Big Brother, Pinoy Big Brother star, called out netizens for seemingly leaving offensive and out of the line remarks against her ex boyfriend, Aaron Hazkel. My Mai Entrada clears ex boyfriend's name. Her post began with Hello po sa lahat. Gusto ko lang po mag explain ng konti about don sa last post ko sa IG. I took a wrong path again in 2021. My mom shared an explanation for her viral post and confirmed her relationship status. My mom clarified that her earlier Instagram post did not refer to her past romance with Aaron and the turmoil the breaking might have caused her. It was my past trauma po. I was hurt and so I hurt other people even the people I love, she wrote. The singer-actress then proceeded to plead with the netizens to be kind and not to attack Aaron. I'm asking lang po sila, sa lahat na sana to be kind, especially po from my past relationship, Aaron. Do not take this against him. From the bottom of my heart, maraming maraming salamat po, my my said. The IG post that my Mai was referring to was her celebrity post, or should I say, the IG post that my Mai was referring to was her celebratory post of, uh, for her Christian baptism. The old is gone and the new has come. I am still not perfect. I am still flawed. But the great thing is that I know where and who I am belong to. 
she wrote in her hard felt caption. And so this was the post that my my did posted in her Instagram like two days ago. I've been a Christian since 2015. Got lost when I entered the industry. Was invited and attended favorite church last 2019. Took the wrong path again in 2021, not until 2023 when I slowly came back to him. When he wrapped his arms around me without condemning who I was and what I did, it was my turn to surrender all that I am and all that I do for him. Acknowledging all that I am or acknowledging that it is who is in control of my life and not me. Now I want to seek him first before anything else because I know by doing so, everything will fall into its right place. Jesus, this is me who is publicly declaring that I am with you. I am dying for my sins and I am with you in the resurrection. The old is gone and the new has come. I am still not perfect. I am still flawed but the great thing is that I know where and who I am belong to. P.S. This is a raw video of my baptism earlier 10 in the morning and then I noticed something. Pagkaahon ko mula sa tubig, they were praying for me and while doing that, I noticed that the color of the video suddenly changed. I didn't bother about it but then I remember someone gave me another video earlier and then I got goosebumps because the light was from outside above the sky. I just remember when Jesus was baptized by John. It was, and so here is another clarification. My my Entrada's relationship with Aaron Haskell. It was in February 2022 when my my publicly announced that she was in a relationship with Aaron. He is based in Canada, and she revealed in an interview that Aaron initially had no idea that she was a celebrity in the Philippines. Six months po yon na wala siyang alam. Talaga, pero nanligaw na po siya nung time na yun. She shared. The two engaged in a long-distance relationship. My mind divulged that long-distance relationship was difficult yet worth the try. Sobrang hirap po ng LDR ang long-distance relationship. Hindi po talaga madali. Parang kung walang maturity, so relationship or sa relationship, hindi po talaga mag-work yung LDR. She then praised Aaron's allotting enough time for the relationship, no matter what. Siya po ay sobrang consistent niya talaga na magbigay ng time. Sobrang OA or overacting in nito. Pero 24 by 7 kaming nagtatawagan. May may said. However, after almost two years of publicly dating, netizens noticed that my Mai and Aaron reportedly unfollowed each other on Instagram. The Kapamilya actress was said to have deleted all her IG photos with Aaron in March 2024. As of writing, the two never revealed the true reason for their breakup. So yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is a detailed information from Cosmopolitan. Uh, giving us um, the background of how this relationship started, uh, how it works as LDR, and then here comes my mice baptism and her post and everything. And people are like questioning and uh, giving uh, their own judgment as to what is really going on on my mice relationship and of her status right now. So, thank you Cosmopolitan for giving us the background the information. Maybe some other people didn't know about this and have no knowledge at all. And so, uh, maybe this is um, 
good way of giving them some kind of eye opener, you know, and for them to at least have a think before giving judgment, uh, not just to Aaron but also to my mantra. Ito lang po yan, ha, mga kaibigan. Ang sabi niya, she clearly mentioned, I took the wrong path again in 2021. O, ba? Tapos, niligawan siya ni Aaron noong 2022. So, saan ba nagkamali? Sino ang nagbigay ng sakit kay Maymay? Si Aaron ba? Or someone else? Pero, Ngayon nga na naghiwalay sila, bakit kailangang halayin ang pangalan ni Aaron na wala naman siyang ginawa? O, diba? Sabi nga ni Maymay, napaka-diligent ni Aaron na uh, mag-communicate sa kanya 24 by 7 uh, during that time na may LDR sila. So, I think it's unfair na i-judge natin si Aaron. Uh, anyways, um, nasa healing stage na si Maymay, and uh, dapat siguro ating pagtuunan ay yung kanyang uh, bagong faith at bagong uh, journey from then on. And uh, of course, no more judgment. Let's end that issue, end of the discussion. And concentrate on how we being productive in supporting my mind and her career. Mapa music man yan or mapa acting. Alexander Lexi Jules, manang umaga po sa lahat.